One more time. I came to this church to pray. Cut the bull. You came here to see your wife and her accomplice. How'd you know they were here? You're in contact somehow. No, we're not. Did she leave you with something, a, a, a message? <sighs> Gentlemen, one last time. I came here to pray. I like to be in church. That's what I do. Oh I know what you're doing, Zach. It's not gonna work. Hello? Is anyone here? Well, not exactly a five-star hotel. Is that motor oil I smell? Got a problem with that? No, what do you want? The uh, <clears throat> sign outside says there's a room available. I know you. It's called a wild goose chase. I got word that Aiden Kendall was spotted in North Carolina. I questioned Zach. He played dumb. Took off. And came here. Yeah. North Carolina is that way. He knew you would follow him here. Damn it. Thanks for the lead. Anything I can do to help? Listen, I'll take care of him. What are you doing, man? Kendall called me. I got one off. Had to make sure. I don't care if a bomb blew up half the state. You can't be meeting up with us. I had to make sure she was safe. So you run up here and you drag the FBI? I didn't drag anybody here. She's fine. They got away. Yeah, they won't get away for much longer if you keep pulling this kind of crap. Where the hell are you going? Annie's getting married to Adam today. I'm not going to let that happen. Hey. Annie didn't shoot. Stewart. According to Ryan, Adam did. Well, I don't know you, so I doubt we've ever met. I guess you just remind me of my sister. I hate my sister. Tom Rogers. This is my friend Sarah. Is a room available? You staying long? We're on our way to California. Most people fly. Well, we're taking our time, and Sarah's afraid of flying. Figures. Is a room available? It's just got one bed. That's okay. I only take cash, no snoring, because I'm a light sleeper. And stay the hell out of my garage. I'm serious. If you touch one of my bikes, you're roadkill. I'm not getting under these sheets. I think we need to find another place, please. Kendall, you stay here until the heat is off. All right, what happened to the chapel was way too close. Yeah, and we left Zach to deal with it. What if whoever found us arrested him? Well, I'll hack into the police files, all right? I'll check it out. I just, I don't know, Aiden. Maybe I should never have called him. Maybe we should go back. Look, whatever happens with Zach, he can handle it. All right, we need to rest. We've been on the road for, like, hours. And you need to relax. Relax, right, okay. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to relax in this hellhole. I mean, this is just, this is disgusting. Oh, my God. What is it? It's a bathtub. Adam Chandler. This whole time. Did you question him? Arrest him? Anything? Adam swears that he saw Kendall shoot Stewart. Well, he's lying. We can't prove that. I'll prove it. You're coming with me. I'm not going with you. I, I'm gonna send for your car. I'll drive you home, and you'll stay. Jesse, you're not gonna stop me. What are you gonna do? Hit me again? You really want to do that, Zach? You know what I want to do? I want to prove that my wife is innocent. Remember what happened with Randy? What you did? I didn't stand in your way. Don't stand in mine. Please. Well, there's nothing here that says that Zach was arrested, so it looks like he handled it. Oh, thank God. Oh my 
my goodness, I feel like a brand new woman, I tell you. Ugh. Well, I didn't see anything wrong with the old one. Hmm. I, uh, don't suppose I thanked you for getting me this fancy dress. I, uh, I don't suppose they had one in my size. Kendall, this is the sticks, you know? You don't have size double zero at the bargain store. Probably not. Okay, my turn. I want to let Zach know that we're safe. Um, you're not going on there. Come, why not? Well, look what happened the last time at the chapel. The feds were all over it. Okay, we need to stay off the grid for a while. I just, I, I don't know if I can get through this without him. You're gonna have to. Marriage is one of the greatest and most challenging adventures we can experience. No ceremony can fully encompass what it means to... You know what? I'd like to say my vows now. The bride and groom have chosen to write their own vows. Madam, please admit that you killed Stuart. Annie killed your brother. You remember it. Now say it. It's your only chance of relief. Stuart. How, how could I? You were my heart and my salvation. Just confess, Adam. Clear your conscience. Admit you killed me. It was good to get some rest. Yeah, I know. You must be exhausted. You haven't slept a wink. Not that you're actually going to sleep much in this bed. There's like springs everywhere and lumps and a big crater right here. No, no, Aiden, you're not going to sleep on the floor. Kendall, okay, it's a lot more comfortable than that old wooden bench in that church. Aiden, there's plenty of room for both of us in this bed. I don't think so. Oh, come on. Come on, it's not like anything's gonna happen. Fine. Good. Okay. <sighs> Get comfortable. <sighs> if I were home, I'd be kissing. Kissing Spike and Ian goodnight, reading them a little story before they went to bed. God, I miss them so much. You can read me a story. Maybe it'll help you fall asleep. Their favorite story was about a little puppy who couldn't find his way home. That's fine with me, Kendall. Because I'm a sucker for lost puppies. <laughs> and the groom, your vows? Adam? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Just say what you have to say, Adam. Just confess. Tell him you shot me. Killed me. <laughs> Your own brother. I'm sorry. You have nothing to be sorry for. We're gonna have a wonderful life together. Just, just finish your vows. I can't. I can't. You said you wanted to be a better man. You haven't changed. You are a coward. You deserve to be punished. You're going to hell, Adam. Adam?
You look like you've been through a meat grinder, Tom. Maybe I could take care of that. Aiden? I've missed you, Devane. They can. Ambulance is on its way. He has to be okay. He can't die until we get a confession out of him. It's no pulse. No. He's not breathing. 